So I love putting together cover songs and I wanted to show you how this being boring uh, cover came together because it, I really love the way it turned out sounding and the whole kind of goal behind this was it's a song that like the original song is so well written and there's so many good chords but it, it doesn't feel the way that I hear it in my head and so I wanted to make it sound more live and more um, more organic, I guess. Um, and I can't sing, I can't play very well, but I, I really wanted to capture just the thoughts that I had in my head. So I started off this thing with, uh, with a really simple piano lick. Um, I, I just did the chords on piano, so uh, here it is. One problem that I kept finding was that I couldn't get the timing right. I couldn't get that do do like it has that really cool. Um, it goes. Um, it's like one two. It goes. And I kept missing that, so I, I ended up doing a line of uh, corrections on top of that, and it just blended in together. So. The correction line is just this. The correction line is... It's just the two hits, and then the... And when you play them all together, it sounds actually pretty fluid. Because I wanted it to sound more live, uh, I wanted to add a bass line into it. So I took a bass sample. Um, and just played like a nice bass line over it. So bass line was this. That's during the build at the beginning of the song. That sounds pretty good, but I wanted it to have more fullness, so I recorded a guitar line as well, and the guitar line was just power chords, and... So you add the bass in. to space things out so I put the bass and the guitar a little bit to the left put the pianos a bit to the right and um, I also added in a clav line because I just like the way clavs sound and I have no idea where to use them so I felt by putting it in <laughs> And when you layer it all together, it sounds actually quite cool. Like you put the guitar, the bass, 
the two piano lines and the clav, and then you start getting more of a sound. And the clav's off to the right where the piano is. So you have keys on the right, you have guitars on the left. <laughs> drums are just a loop so when you add the drums it sounds really full piece also added in that I when I look back at this I don't like the way it sounds but for whatever reason I thought it would make sense to yell in the room so Help! it's kind of like a thundercats yell Help! I don't know in, in my head it made it sound more live but I actually think it sounds really contrived so I'm not so cool with that. But now when the whole thing comes together. So that, 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 I think, actually sounds really nice for an introduction. But we have some problems coming up. So one of the problems is I can't sing for my life. Um, and so I wasn't, uh, like, I, I don't have the range. I don't have the ability to, like, get those right notes. I can't stay in tune. And I don't like using auto-tune. So I wanted to... Uh, sing in a register that made sense to me and like in, in a range that was that worked to my voice in my head but I also wanted to make it sound a bit more kind of uh, mysterious a bit so I just kind of ran through the words um, I came across a cache of old photos and the effects on it are pretty pretty simple. I um, did a, like a very short um, short reverb kind of vocal stage effect, which I think sounds really nice when you put it over over music. And invitations to teenage parties. And I kept it raw, so I I didn't want to put I didn't take any of the noise out of it. So like it was recorded it right here and it sounds like it was recorded um right here it has like all those clicks and pops and and kind of natural pieces to it so i came across a cache of old photos and so anytime i do vocals i always want to layer them up and so in this case i put one layer of I came across a cache of old photos again a little bit not a little bit very out of tune but higher pitched way off to the right and a similar track way off to the left I came across a cache of old photos and so when those two come together, they have like a nice kind of cushion. I came across a cache of old photos. When you put it with the lead line, it actually sounds relatively cool. I came across a cache of old photos. Also, it's kind of fun that I didn't know the lyrics. And so it's a cache of old photos, not a cache. But when you read them off, like whatever lyric thing I saw on the internet, it ends up 
I read it as cache, so that's wrong, but that's kind of cool. And then, so I have this, this, this vocal line. I came across a cache of old photos. And I want to keep it a little bit mysterious. So there was a sound that I loved here. I, the, um, it's this perseverance keys sound. Um, it goes, where is it? It's, uh, I have to hit it there. Yeah. It has that really cool ring out noise. So, so that, and then layered on top of that, is like a plain uh, two key organ sound. So sounds it's like it's spooky it's mysterious it's kind of like um you add the bass in and I, let's try that again and i put little accents on the words too so like this is one of the, I put one accent to the right and one to the left. So this, the first one's to the left. So it's. It's a teenage party. So now you have like this really nice kind of bed of noises. Um, and here are the two high vocals. And so now just the vocal lines, the bass and the organ and that cool keys noise. I came across a cache of old photos and invitations to teenage parties. Dress in white, one said with quotations from someone's wife, a famous writer in the 19th. started just one of the later more things and so I put in uh, a guitar doing just kind of a range of notes so I came across a cache of old photos and invitations to teenage parties dress and the distorted guitar was I did a separate take with just notes on it so I came across a cache of old photos and invitations to teenage parties. Dress in white, one said with quotations. the song builds towards the chorus oh, and also the piano's there too so you have this really nice kind of range of sounds I came across Let's see these two off Let's start from here I came across a cache of old photos and when you put the drum loop back in So cache of old photos and invitations to teenage parties. Dress in white, one said with quotations. From someone's wife, a famous writer in the 1920s. When you're young, you found inspiration. Closing the door, she says we 
When I listen back to it, it sounds like it's a little bit of overkill. There's way too much stuff going on and there's way too much piano and there's way too many noises. But like, I don't believe in doing lots of uh, editing. I just kind of record wherever I feel makes sense. And so I really liked the way it turned out, I think, at the time. And then when it got to the chorus, though, the chorus has all these, uh, again, layers and layers of vocals. So but it's different tracks and different kind of noises on them or different uh, effects on them. Cause we were never being boring. We had too much time to find for ourselves. And we were never being boring. We dressed up in fog and thought making mess. And we were never holding There's a line, there's a guitar line here also that I actually, so I can't play guitar at all and I can do just note by note. And I wanted to get this really cool lead line, but I couldn't play it properly. So I just recorded each section separately. That's first section, second section, third section. Four section, fifth section, six section. We all put it together. And I put it off far to the right, and then it all comes together sounding like this. We had too much time to find for ourselves, and we were never. The lyrics to this song are just absurd. They're so good. And I love like just that that syncopation of like getting the rhythm in right where the drum loop hits. Um, it, it makes sense to me and I like it very, very much. Um, this was a really fun song to cover. And I really enjoyed geeking out over just how it came together on on tape. Um, what else is in this song that I like? Oh, that second verse is so cool. When I went, I left from the station with a half a sack and some trepidation. Someone said, The perseverance, the, this key sound is the winning sound of the whole thing. So yeah, and that's how that came together. Um, if you like what you're listening to here, cool, thank you. And uh, if you don't, also cool. Thank you. See ya.